what's up guys so you may have seen my video last week about missing out on a deal I was very very sad but another multifamily property just came on the market this one is not a fourplex but it's a duplex um, need some work so I'm gonna go see it try to get back in action and soothe my aching heart from missing out on that last deal it's raining it was snowing like 20 minutes ago it's April it's mid-April <sighs> mother nature I apologize for all the wrong we've done you but yeah let's do this guys wait I left this on top of the car. And I like to... Huh? Not much. It's a little bit, you know, but really not much. I don't know. Bathroom. Nice floor. Yeah, videos, pictures of uh, properties, all that good stuff. So have you been doing this for a while? A little bit, you know. We got a couple of properties around the area and just trying to get a few more. That's nice. Definitely like the multifamilies. I am just not bringing that. My husband is talking about that. I'm like, no, you should I'm go not for interested. it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it is. It, it is. is. <laughs> This is a nice sized room. Also, oh, this must be the master. This is a nice sized mess. Wow. Very big. Nice closet. Scraping all these popcorn ceilings would be no joke though. This is actually really nice. This could be really nice. Windows are all old. Yeah. It's a big rehab. It's a big rehab, but you could add a lot of value here. When we go back, I'll look at all the recent sales. Nice meeting you. Hey, you too. Take care. Drop mine in my food next time. <laughs> You're fine. Let me get off your way, baby. <sighs> 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 These old windows 
would definitely have to be replaced. I don't even really know what that is. So I think right now it's listed at sixty-seven dollars a square foot. Two sixty-nine. I think it's sixty-one a square foot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Duplexes aren't the easiest to figure out, you know, what it would sell for. I know. So I've got some comps I can text you where you got them pulled up. Mm -hmm. And they were they were definitely in the range because like all of the union duplexes um, were already sold, closed, pending. Like they were, this was the only one that had gone active because all of them were already, Yeah. the market was hot it's for them. So hot, yeah. And because used to, it was a hard deal. To, I didn't even want to deal with duplexes a long time ago. Yeah. Um, and so let me, I'll find those comps and I'll, I'll let you, I'll text those to you. All right, guys, we just came out. That's the house right there. Um, Mom, what'd you think? I thought it was great. I think it's um, very viable and I think it'll be a big rehab, but mm -hmm. I think it could be very well done. It's large enough for a good mid-sized family and um, I think it'd be a good investment. Y'all heard her. We are gonna drive around the neighborhood a little bit, just get a feel for things. There's a lot of duplexes around here. Like even this one right next door is a duplex. Um, but this is an older neighborhood and things really haven't been updated, so we'll have to try to get a grip on what this could possibly be worth after a rehab, which is why in a little while when we head back to the house, I'm going to call my hard money lender and he's going to talk to me about how they run their comps and kind of do ARV on rehabs for duplexes so that we can get an idea of how much the hard money lender might lend us and how much cash we would need on our own. And then we will make an offer. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, it's the next day. Uh, yesterday was super rainy and snowy, and today it's fine. So it was kind of hard to film yesterday. But we're actually back today. It was listed at 269, but after we walked through yesterday, you can kind of see the roof is really bad, and there's just there's there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done. So I ended up offering 215, and the seller and I agreed at 217 500. So the real estate agent is going to be meeting us here today. We're going to sign the contract, and then I also have. Um, a roofer coming out to give me a quote, a painter coming out to give me a, a quote to paint the brick and the stone and to paint the siding, and then my main contractor is going to come out and kind of walk us through and share his thoughts. So I'm excited to share all of that with you guys. Let's go. You tell me what you see, tell me anything, and I'll kind of let you know what I'm thinking. Wait, should I stay this one? Well, I mean, I'll, I just need a little bit of cleanup at the moment, right? Just a little bit of greenery needed to come off before you died back. But other than that, wait, I don't see a whole lot of cracks in the rock, so that's good. Good and solid. Actually, uh, looks like it might actually be clean not very long ago. Do you know if they power wash it or anything? Honestly, I highly doubt it. Okay. It's kind of oh. been a ton of deferred maintenance. The owner is older. Um, okay. So there's, there's really not much that she's done. Okay. Well, I don't see a whole lot of cracks right off the bat, so that's good to start with. So one thing I'm thinking about is kind of changing up the color scheme. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. It's pretty dated. It's a little bit like cottage rough yeah. house. This one's going for, I think. Is this material okay to paint? Yes. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great for paint. It's not really that much different. Now, one thing you might want to look at, see, is like you two got two different kinds of siding in there. If you don't mm -hmm. care about that, you can just paint and it wouldn't be a big deal. But this is basically meant to, it's like to mimic a uh, rock texture okay. or something like that, so. And the trim, you could also paint that. Yeah, oh yeah, we could paint it the same, we could paint it different. Okay. Um, some people, in some cases, paint um, just the trim they want it. Uh, point out, so like they, for instance, keep this brown and then paint this white and all that, so mm -hmm. just kind of cover up the difference. Mm -hmm. That kind of sometimes makes it look from afar away more updated, so that's okay. one thing you could do. Oh, on oh, this side. No. Are you getting this? Oh, um, that one. Countertops, new appliances. Mm -hmm. You want to keep kind of the same style. You want to rearrange. You want to do an island. I think it makes sense to kind of keep keep the same style. Just same style. It's, it's relatively functional, you know. Yeah, it's pretty functional. Um, if you if you did, you do have a good opportunity to do kind of an island if you wanted to somewhere kind of out here. Mm -hmm. Give you a, like a little like a floating island. Mm -hmm. It kind of closes off this a little bit, so it fills your space. But you come out here, you put bar stools for. No. If we do anything, yeah, I'll see about somebody send this. Yeah, kind of you the could. same thing that we're doing at the other place, just putting in another yeah. lower cabinet, yep. and then just having a, a larger countertop. Mm. And it up all the time. Yeah. So, you have first here a tree line. Oh. Here's the roof. Okay, so that's 
the patch is on top. That's the patch. Okay. So obviously there was just water just straight falling. Well, you got lucky that it was in the garage. I mean, uh, that's good. Right. right. So yeah, you can see kind of straight up to the ceiling to the sky there. Well, um, luckily I don't see a whole lot of like water damage. Yeah, there's some right there. Why is your flashlight so much better? <laughs> oh, um, I what they said happened here, and this may even be like the the tub. The, the tub from upstairs. The tenant Oh, yeah, yeah. Apparently they disconnected some plumbing. Oh, they awesome. had a leak. So they said that they reconnected it, but that's something I you know definitely want to check yeah. out. Yeah, we'll uh, make sure on that one because last thing you want to do is put the sheet rock in and then put it in the second time. Right? And then you got electrical panel and water heater. Yeah. It's a it's an older style, but it's still updated enough that it should be in code technically. Okay. So you shouldn't be in a big problem here. Oh, this is all updated, you said? Um, we're not sure. It looks fairly good anyway. Um, I can run the number on the main number probably for these. Hmm. But they don't, like just appearance, usually they look worse than this if they're going to be needing anything. Mm -hmm. And I don't see like hardly any rest in the bottom, so they it's have so kind of time on. But we can, well, I'll pull the bin numbers on them and okay. uh, see how old they actually are. Okay, but we need they, to get pictures. Uh, I'll get pictures of them, yeah, when we're done here. Okay. This could be um, something to do with pouring fault. In fact, you have the heavy the rock walls on the outside. I think this is this is the divider, so technically this shouldn't be a wall right there besides the divider wall. Mm -hmm. So we would have want to check this just to make sure. I would definitely, you, you already have this inspected? Mm -hmm. Okay, I would get somebody to do this foundation just to make sure that that's not going anywhere. How old is this place? 1988. So you're probably not in bad shape, that's how far it sunk in that far, but it wouldn't hurt anyway to have somebody come take a look at it and see if they'd be corrected. Otherwise, they do a basic thing like if it's not sinking, they can grind it off smooth and you won't feel it underneath the carpet, that kind of thing. As long as no water is coming up between it. It can be scraped, uh, you can take it off. How intensive of a process is that? <laughs> well, it depends. Yeah. <laughs> because sometimes when it's an older style, um, you can just wet it and they have like a scraper that you can go through and just kind of scrape it off and it comes into a bag and catch it all. Mm. And sometimes that's fairly easy, but in cases where it's older sheetrock, sometimes what happens is the paper on the back side can let loose. So if you go through, you end up gouging it and then you have to come back and mud it to make it smooth yeah. again and paint it. So, it depends. If you're just trying to get this like renter grade, personally, I probably will leave it. Mm -hmm. Because uh, popcorn seal covers up nicely. Um, if you need to, you can just hit it with a, a paint, white spray paint or whatever, and mm -hmm. it's pretty good. Um, especially because a lot of times renters aren't super nice to the houses. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, we had we had everything from guys smoking in the room to burning holes in the ceiling, this and that and the other. So mm -hmm. if you can patch this, smooth ceiling, you know where the patches are. Mm -hmm. From your perspective, because we do need to, we're going to do some painting and some whitewashing of the brick. What needs to happen first? Should you get on the roof first? Should we do that first? It's easier for the painter to paint. So if he gets it on the shingle, it's not going to mess anything up. Okay. It being storm season. If you have any leaks, I would definitely let me know and I can put a tarp on it or something. That, okay. For sure, because it's storm season, we're gonna get hit real bad Friday. Yeah. And uh, Saturday, I think we have some more, more rain too. Yeah. But personally, on my flips, I would paint the exterior first. So just paint and we'll roll it all, and it'll just feel all, all this really nice. Right. Mm -hmm. And then for the the caulking here, yeah. it just help water to not get in. Uh, yeah. It'll the caulking so the water doesn't get in. Okay. Let's we'll do that. Stuff like this. And they go because you get a chance to cook in the cake and chalet because they Um, and all this will be cooking it all too, so it yeah. looks uh, yeah. nice and new. Okay. And all of them, all of you. Ella va a hacer las reparaciones. Uh, you're doing the reparations, right, for the stucco? Uh, can you guys do that or no? Tú los puedes hacer. El estaco no. Okay, we'll get someone else to do it. We'll get someone else to do it. Okay. You know, whatever. He decided that he was ready to go outside. And definitely not a dog you would have wanted to meet in the middle of the night. Yeah, that's a big dog. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get these off. Sheetrock paint, replace the banisters. We'll do the same flooring pretty much, I'm thinking, throughout. Yeah, so you just pop this off, just like you said, over there. And it'll continue and even up the stairs. Alright, let's do it. Alright. And this door? Uh, this goes outside. We'll just uh, 
This we'll is the broken door. door with the glass. Yeah, we'll get in the door. I'll be careful because the text. Right. Okay. Um, I'll film first and then walk okay, through. Don't, don't step. Usually the smell is held in the carpet. Mm -hmm. You're probably fine. Do you know how long this was sitting? It's it's not gonna make it long. Not gonna make it long. So you could if you're concerned about it, but you shouldn't have to paint the whole thing. You could probably just hit, you know, Certain. the section that looks yeah, kind of the... stained, like you mean right here is what I was looking at. Yeah. But if that's the case, then you could paint that just for your peace of mind and then put your stuff down on top of it. Mm -hmm. okay. should be ready to go. Is this the master? So this is actually Jack and Jill, two oh. bedrooms. Yeah. And then you've kind of got the master downstairs that has that bathroom. Oh, it's not nice. Out. Seriously, keep the mirrors. They're so nice. Well, that's quite the step up there. Yeah. Are you talking about taking this out maybe? Or I mean, I would like to since everything else is going to be fresh flooring and it's, it's kind of cracked. Yeah, it is. Uh, but I don't know why it comes up so high. It's because they it's put a backer like board, mm -hmm. like in, uh, like a rock board, mm -hmm. kind of like what they do to a high shower. And then they put this on top, which is like half inch thick tile. At least, at least this edging is anyway. Mm -hmm. This could be thinner. Yeah. But that's what it looks like. It's so thick. So we could pull all of that out. Now, they might have done it because there might be water damage underneath it. Mm -hmm. And rather than replace it, they decided that they're going to put something over it. Mm -hmm. So mm. it probably, if we're going to take it out, let's go all the way to the floor. Yeah. Make sure there's no sure. flooring damage. Mm -hmm. If there is, let's replace it and do it right. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So you'll initial. Okay, you've already done this one. Mm -hmm. So at the bottom of each of these pages, after you review it, this is the light on for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. we'll you want to use your pen? Or? Yeah, I'll, I'll get or this just nice money check written for now. Our uh, video production team. Can we go to Apex Title? Yeah, go ahead and put Apex Title. Alright. Could you move the card right down? Uh, 421. Maybe this way? Yes. 21. There you this go. This is 2000. Yes. Uh, what are we, 6710? Yes, and on this, I just, just so you just so remember, make sure. I put 6710 and 6712. Perfect. Mm -hmm. E79. Let me get a picture of this. And I contacted the closer on May 7th, otherwise the fire will be gone until October 16th. She said, I will try my best, just depends on how long the abstract takes, send it over that way, and we will brush it. Okay. So I appreciate you. And if we are out of town, we'll uh, set X or do whatever we need. Okay, okay, got it. Um, okay, so we have May 7th. I always like to fill in the blanks, I don't like to leave anything blank. Okay, go ahead and initial here. And what I'll do is scan all these to the seller so she can all kind of waste on it. Um, there wasn't anything additionally that we're leaving or anything we're excluding. Um, and then we're going to talk about two to see what we need to do about the neighbor next door. Did we find out about those appointments? He hasn't responded okay. yet, so. It's fine. Um, okay, time period starts today, so we put that on here. Okay. And then, and then we're doing 10. Yeah, I'm going to have about 10 in there. Good. Um, nothing else that we have to hear. There won't be any. Um, oh, the lights are okay. Okay. Um, This is just standard here. Nothing else to. Put on here. The standard My knees are not good. Provide. I'm just going to squat. I'm going to just back to the biscuit. Um, delay closing for 30 days if there was anything that they had to you know, fix on the title. I'm all finished. You guys have a right. wonderful day. Bye. 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 Um, I don't, you don't, do you want to put a more tea on it or anything? No. All right. We covered. And then right okay, so I'll put it right here. And I just want to make sure that you know it's written on there. That's how I put your name on there. Is that still correct? It is. Okay. Put that in there. And then you'll get both sides. That's amazing. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> ever. That's why, you know, stay unrepresented. So 
stuff that I can just. Well, that's the thing. I, don't, I really don't hardly ever do that. So this is where I put on here that I'll be receiving your check right here, Perfect. and I will deliver it to mm -hmm. Apex, and I'll make them sign for that check. Okay. Great. Um, okay. This means that I'm just I'm doing the sales agreement here, so you'll just print your name and sign. Now you'll have all kind of the, the little junk papers to sign here. Mm -hmm. I say junk papers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, this means that I can attend closing with you or for you. Sure. Um, you don't mind me hearing those that information. Go ahead and um, write your name up here. And then you'll sign here. I've never been YouTube famous before. <laughs> Before I have my makeup on at least. Oh, the mask, the mask <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so on this, I mean, clearly you, you probably already know who you're using. You don't have to check any boxes. This talks about inspections. These are just, I can never tell you who to use anyway. And um, these are just people we know to be reliable. So you really just need to initial here that I've told you about this. And initial there, same thing. You got so the check? They will sign this uh, tonight and I'll get it sent over to you tonight. So you've got a copy of everything. Mm -hmm. And Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, so we just finished up. Uh, contract is signed. Earnest money submitted, or I gave the check to the agent, and she'll take it to the title company for me. Uh, I feel good about it. I feel like, you know, we got a really big discount off of the listing price because we're coming in with cash. Um, got my hard money lender lined up. Got the contractors lined up. We'll go line by line and put together, you know, the exact rehab plan. What work I'll be DIYing and making my family help me with and what work I'll leave to the professionals. But yeah, I just feel good about it. I feel like on-market deals move so quickly. Like, it was literally just yesterday, not even 24 hours ago, when I saw the property come on the market, called the listing agent, hey, can I see this in like an hour? We go see it, put together the numbers, Made the offer last night, started to kind of negotiate throughout the day today, and you know, now we're under contract. So I'm excited about it. We got a property, a duplex that we're gonna be rehabbing. Good stuff. Thanks for being with me here today, guys. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, if you want more content like this, you know what to do. Change the color of that like button, please. Tell the YouTube algorithm that this is fire content. <laughs> All right, see you guys in the next video, thanks.